We just finished at the table of the face, the table of the presence. And if we turn to the other side, would have been on our left as we came into the holy place, we see this lampstand, this menorah. It, it, it's, it's made up of gold. Almost all of the other pieces, they have wood that's covered with gold or wood that's covered with bronze. But this piece, it had to be made of gold, a, a pure talent of gold, 75 pounds of gold. Now, I, I encourage you, go and look up the equivalent in today's money, how much this lampstand costs. Millions and millions of dollars for this lampstand, but it couldn't be made in the normal way. If you were going to make something with many parts, it wouldn't be unusual for an artisan to, to make maybe some of the branches and then put the branches together with the other branches and put them onto the central post. But God says very clearly, no, it has to be one thing of gold. You have to take the whole talent, it all has to be melted together, and it all has to be formed together. It, it can't be multiple parts put together. It's one piece. It's only one piece, and it's all formed out of the one thing because of what it represented. Now, this lampstand, again, is something that's found in heaven. This is one of the easier ones to find. It, it's found all over in Revelation. There's seven lamps of fire that the Lamb of God was sitting within. It, it's this lampstand that represents the seven spirits of God. And we mentioned in another video about how Isaiah 11 2 tells us the seven spirits of God, but it's the sevenfold spirit of God. It's one God, one spirit, and yet it's seven. It's not seven different spirits, but it's one spirit who is seven. And this is so important for us to understand. It's one piece of gold. And this piece of gold was beaten until it looked like a tree. It, it was supposed to look like branches and a trunk of a tree. And, and, and it was made so that it would have calyxes, which are kind of when the leaves are surrounding a bud before it opens up and you can see the bud. And, and how they would they would hold it together on the branch and the branch would continue and there'd be another one and it hold it up and each of these, it would go out. So you have the central branch in the middle and then out of it, you have the branch going out on either side, coming up to two sides and then going up a little bit further and another branch going up two different directions to the center. And then the third branch going up two different directions to the center and the final one in the center, giving you seven points which helps you to understand the seven spirits of God in Isaiah 11 too. The spirit of the Lord is the center branch, but each of them are two combined, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. They're, they're, they're from the same branch and yet they're two aspects of the same branch. And, and there's an understanding of who God is that's being revealed through these seven lamps of fire, which is the seven lampstands, which is the spirit of God. This is the place where we start to get revelation. This is the place where the light of God and the spirit begins to speak, begins to reveal, begins to open things up so that we can see God, we can see his ways, we can understand him in ways that we couldn't before. This is the place of the anointing that comes. When, when Zechariah saw this lampstand in heaven, he saw it as, as two olive trees that filled these bowls that were had seven lamps that were burning on them. And, and there was this pure olive oil that was being poured out. And so this lampstand had to be pure olive oil that had to be the, the purest oil, that there were no impurities because he is holy spirit. There is no impurity in him whatsoever. This is another of the things that we learn as we delve deep into this tabernacle of Moses, the mysteries of God being revealed and the deeper walk with him, the path being shown by the furniture in the tabernacle.